JVL Integrated Servo Motors consists of a motor and a plug-in communication module. The control power and motor power are separated, so the motor can be turned off while still being able to monitor its position and status. Motor power and control power on the Mac 400 has two different power connectors, a connector on the motor and one on the communication module. Mac 400 has dual voltage and can use single phase 115 volts or single phase 230 volts. The controller uses 24 volt DC. The motor connector has four pins, neutral, a pin for 115 volts, a pin for 230 volts, and an earth pin. Cables are available fully wired or dedicated to your voltage. Take extra caution to avoid connecting 230 volts to the 110 volt pin. The motor power cable has either three or four wires, a green yellow earth wire, a blue wire for neutral, and a brown wire for a 230 volt phase. If the cable has four wires, the fourth red wire is for a 115 volt phase. If 115 volt is used, the brown wire should be isolated. The other large connector on the motor is for connecting a power dump resistor. This is used to absorb excess energy from, for example, a falling vertical load. The M12 five pin control power connector is unified on all JVL motors, modules, and M12 power cables. The wires also share the same color coding, connect both brown and white to 24 volt DC control power plus, connect both the blue and gray to ground, connect the black wire to 24 volt DC control voltage. Note that the black wire on specific modules is supply voltage for IOs or even unused. Confirm AC power is off before connecting the motor power connector. Insert the connector straight and tighten thoroughly. Connect the control power cable and now switch on your power supply and AC power. Depending on the module you're using, you'll see the LED turn on. If the module you're using does not have an LED, a cable with an LED in the connector is available. For commissioning and programming, use JVL's MacTalk software or a supported PLC. With MacTalk, you can do fast test movements and use the scope function to perform diagnostics and optimization. This was a quick power connection guide. For in-depth information, please read the manual. To learn more about JVL Intelligent Motors and to learn about how to program with the MacTalk software, I recommend watching some of the many JVL webinars. If you found the video useful, please like and subscribe. Your comments are also very welcome.